Hey guys, uh, Nathaniel here. Uh, we're going to be doing another one that's on strip and swarm plots. Uh, these aren't incredibly necessary, as I, as I like their contemporaries, the box and violin plots, a lot more. Um, but I'll, I'll do a quick one for you. Uh, there's not also a ton to sort of discuss and discover here, so it should be okay. Um, okay, so let's get started. Here's what a strip plot looks like. Yeah, it's, I mean, a univariate strip plot, right? Um, so this is a, a strip plot over just a single variable showing the total bill. Um, it's simple. It's just lots of dots in a row. Um, you can go ahead and you can do this over a category, specifically to show lots of dots and straight lines going vertical. Uh, this, this is incredibly unhelpful. Uh, it's only helpful if you go ahead and you add jitter equal to true. And they can give you sort of a visualization of where the total bills lie. Uh, so on Saturday, Sunday, Friday, uh, seems like on Friday people generally eat smaller meals uh, or something like that. And on Saturday people eat bigger meals. You'll, you'll probably see that uh, there'll be larger parties that come on Saturday. You can set the jitter itself to be a small measurement. Um, so in this case 0.5, a little bit less. Um, yeah, so you can also set the plot to be horizontal and vertical. Um, so just by changing the x and the y. So in this case, x is total bill and y is day instead of previous. Okay, super simple. Um, you can go ahead and you can add a, a hue in this case. So if we've got this hue here, we've got sex is x and total bill is y. So uh, on the x-axis, we, we display sex and then total bill is y. And then we <coughs> can go ahead and color all, all the points based on some hue. Um, Probably better to do it the opposite way, having um, the x be day and then sex be hume. Anyways, it might give you a better distrib or, or sense of the distribution of these things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. What we can also do is we can use split equal to true. Uh, so what this will do is this will split out those things that are hued. Uh, we'll see this to be or used in great effect when we're doing violin plots a little bit later on. Um, again, maybe give you a better visualization of these things. If you're doing big data, like a lot of data points, you know, over 10,000, this stuff will freeze your computer. This, uh, it's not meant to display this type of, or this many data points. Okay. Uh, what you can also do is you can also draw these on top of a box plot. Now for small data, I like doing this a little bit, uh, though not with a strip plot specifically. What I like to use is a swarm plot, which is what I'm going to be discussing last. Um, swarm plots right here. Uh, you can check it out and you can do some stuff uh, yourself with it. All the swarm plot does is it erase it so that none of these points are overlapping. Uh, and so you get these sort of like little, little loops here, or I'm, I'm not really sure, um, uh, little like horseshoes, uh, so that none of these points are overlapping. Again, this doesn't work for big data, uh, but it's able to give you a real sense of the size of the data uh, and where the data is actually located specifically, um, which the box plot is unable to tell you. It's also unable to tell you that there is a drop between like 2 and 250, right? That there are these like um, like 50, 50 cent intervals or 25 cent intervals. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, so swarm plot can be used to do all the things that strip was used to do. You can, you can go ahead and set the split. You can go ahead and set the hue, uh, x, y. Uh, so, so anything like that, the palette. Um, I would suggest for small data points or data sets, you can use swarm. Uh, I would generally recommend putting it on top of a box plot or a violin plot, which we're going to be talking about just right after this. Um, so I hope this was somewhat uh, helpful. The tutorial does a really good job on these, so you may, you may as well check it out as well. I've added one or two comments here just to kind of explain all the weird parts. Okay, thanks guys. See you next time.